When a gunman recently killed eight people at three Atlanta area spas, six of the victims were women of Asian descent. It immediately stoked greater fears about the rise in anti-Asian violence and hate that had been on the rise. I talked with Kentucky's only Asian American legislator, Representative Nima Kilkarni, and writer, activist, and social entrepreneur May Saramek about the rise in harassment and violence against Asian American Pacific Islander communities. And you see, you know, from their data, a sharp increase. You know, I think there's a generally accepted figure of about 150 percent increase in the past year um, of hate crimes. There are certainly biased crimes against Asian Americans in this country. Uh, but not all of them go reported. So they had about 3,800 instances through their website alone um, just in the past year. Definitely think there is, there is a sense of um, privilege that other people don't have to live those fears. I, I have a mom who is a, a, a widow. She, my, we lost my dad two years ago. She goes to the cemetery every day by herself. Mm. And I'm, I, I, gave, I bought her pepper spray the other day. You know, I'm like, please carry this with you. Because I just, especially now, I'm I'm worried about her, and I I had to talk, I had to tell her about all this and explain to her all about all of this. We don't want you to miss this extraordinary conversation coming up on Connection Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Time on KET, the main channel. You can watch it again at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2, and then anytime after that online at KET.org/connections. I sure hope you'll join us.